microphone. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> hello, everyone. <laughs> it's been a bit of an afternoon already. Um, I don't know if any of you are actually watching me live or not, whether you tuned in at two o'clock uh, and I wasn't there and then you decided to uh, give up. I've been having all kinds of technical problems this afternoon, so I'm really sorry. I'm just going to have a look at my iPad, make sure that I'm as live there as it looks as if I ought to be. And um, then I'll <laughs> explain to you what's been going on. Um, I don't know whether anybody's there. Um, yeah, been a bit of a day, really. It looks like I am live. OK, so that's good. At least I can see that I'm live there. So I went to go live as normal. I was here at two o'clock. I got everything set up in my incredibly messy craft room. I've got a class that I haven't cleared up yet uh, from yesterday because I've been busy doing other things. And my Facebook business page was just not working properly. Um, it was jamming up. Uh, I tried a few things and in the end I had to completely delete the app. Then I had to reinstall the app. Then it still wasn't working. Um, I thought of something else which I tried and that seems to have done the trick. Um, I think it's partly because there's been some kind of a new update which I hadn't seen until I tried to go live and they've added in a stage. Anyway, you don't need to know the technical stuff, but um, quite a lot has changed in the few weeks over Christmas and um, I think there was there were some other issues as well. So I'm here. I'm hoping it's better late than never and I'm very sorry if you were here at two o'clock waiting for me. So if you are watching, do tell me whether you can see and hear me okay and then I'm going to crack on because we've wasted enough time this afternoon already. So I'm here in my first Friday afternoon live session of 2023, which hardly seems possible. It only seems like five minutes we were ago we were celebrating the millennium, but there we go, 23 years on. <laughs> I hope you've had a lovely Christmas. I hope you've had a really brilliant festive season, whatever you were celebrating and however you were celebrating. And I hope that you've been able to welcome the new year. And I hope for all of us, it's going to be a better year than the last few years have been. I'm going into it optimistically anyway, because that can't hurt, can it? What I'm going to do in this session is talk to you a little bit about the new mini catalogue. I'm going to show you some of my favourites in the catalogue itself. And I'm going to show you in much more detail some of the actual things along with some projects. And then I'm going to briefly do the same for some of the celebration promotional items as well. And if you don't know what celebration is, I will explain that to you as well. So I'm hoping that that's going to be a helpful thing for you to, uh, to watch, maybe help you make some decisions about your shopping list. I know I've still got items on my shopping list. And so we'll get going. Before I do that, though, just a couple of things about catalogues. If you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator and you're in the UK or Europe and you would like a Stamping Up demonstrator, then just let me know and I'll happily send catalogues out to you. If you're watching this elsewhere in the world, then if you go to stampingup.com, then you can find a demonstrator there who will be very happy to send you catalogues. A reminder about classes. I ran my January card class yesterday. It was lovely to get back together with everybody. It's a class where we make six cards. It's suitable for everybody from beginners to experts. And the February class, which runs on the 2nd of February, is booking now. And in fact, bookings close today. So if you haven't booked up and you'd like to come to that class, I need to know by 5 p.m. today, please. Um, other classes coming up, if you are interested in the February Fancy Folds class, we make Fancy Fold cards. Uh, that class runs on the 20th of February and booking ends on the 20th of January, so you've got a little bit longer for that. And I've also sent out all the details for my Spring Extravaganza, which is an all-day class that's running on Saturday the 11th of March in person. And bookings for that close on Friday, January the 20th as well. If you haven't had the details for that, but you're interested, let me know. That's a class for paper crafters who have some experience. Um, beginners will feel a bit out of their depth. Uh, but for everybody else, it's a fun day where we make six different projects. You have a stamp set included, and I'll show you that from the catalogue in just a minute. Uh, if you've got that stamp set already, then you can pick something else instead. Right, so without further ado, I need to turn the camera down. 
um i must have a piece of washi tape here somewhere i'm never never without washi tape there it is i'm just going to cover over the camera lens while i turn everything down i'm hoping if you're watching that you can hear me okay i haven't got any comments i usually get a comment if you can't hear me so i'm hoping that's all okay but do let me know how things are because that really would be very helpful okay let's just put the mirror image camera on that button at least seems to be exactly where it should be thank goodness and no doubt I shall have to do just a little bit of fiddling around to get everything in the right place all right let's take off the washi tape I won't be able to see what you can see for a moment or two so I'll spend that time clipping up my microphone wire trying to get that out of your view so it's not too annoying whilst giving me enough slack that I don't feel like I'm tied in place there we are hopefully that will do the trick let's move that cable out of the way as well there we are it's a difficult time of year for lighting it doesn't seem to matter what lights I put on I always end up with some shadows so we'll we'll do the best we can all right and that needs to come forwards I believe let's try it there okie dokie trying to get as much in as I can I set this up in the same way I think every single time and yet it still takes me a moment or two to get everything right and you'd think by now I would know how everything needs to be adjusted but it just it doesn't seem to work in quite the same way every time there we are I think that's that's a little better isn't it you might have to just put up with my tripod legs there we go just so you can see a little bit more of my desk all right so the mini catalogue then this is going to run from now you can order from it now until the end of april and during april items will be on a wall stocks last basis for everything that's discontinuing but we've got months before we need to worry about that now i've got a whole ream of post-it notes in here um, i'm going to talk briefly about quite a few things if you've got your copy of the catalogue then that will be helpful if you haven't got it in front of you run and get it <laughs> because um, I'll be referring to various things on various pages um, I'm going to mostly talk about celebration in a minute but I did just want to point out that we have quite a few things in the mini catalogue which have a coordinating celebration item um, celebration is a promotion where you can get products for free and there are different ways of doing that which I will talk about a little bit more in a minute but I'm on pages 20 and 21 of the catalogue where we have this fragrant flowers bundle which is stamps and dyes but I did want to show you that on page 11 of the celebration catalogue this paper which is beautiful rich colors coordinates so your stamped images here are the same images in the paper I'm going to just call that it on that and move on because otherwise I shall run out of time. The next page in here is By the Bay. I have two favourite suites in the catalogue. I tried to narrow it down to one, but I can't. Um, this is one of my two favourite ones. I'm going to be showing this in a lot more detail in a minute. So we'll skip across from that. there we go I've gone over two pages here this set here Queen Bee I think this is a Marmite set uh, I think you're either gonna love it or hate it um, I don't think there'll be many people who are yeah it's okay I don't mind it maybe I'm wrong we'll see um, I'm not a keen Marmite eater but I do absolutely love this set and I've got some samples to show you in a minute on that page 29 the sea turtles this is quite a deceptive page in the catalog because these turtle stamps the big one in particular is really big this artwork is only half size in the catalog 
Um, the actual sea turtle is really quite big and it's a beautiful set. The stamps are double sided so you have a solid image on one side and a detailed image on the other side and I'm going to actually do a Facebook live session featuring the stamp set so watch this space. It's really beautiful. Just turning over from that, I'm on page 30 now. This Regency Park suite is massive. There are two stamp sets, two die sets, an embossing folder, specialty paper, embellishments and ribbon, patterned paper, and they all coordinate, cross-coordinate if you like, um, with each other. There's more details on them over the page, but I'm showing you this because this stamp set here and the coordinating punch are what I will be basing my all day spring extravaganza class around. So you will get the stamp set as part of your class. And if you want to, you can do the upgraded class where you can get the punch as well. So uh, that's just to kind of highlight where that is in the catalog. This farm set I haven't got, but it really is fun. It's called On The Farm. And I'm showing you this because there is coordinating paper in the celebration brochure. So we've got all these farm animals. Uh, we've got lots of dyes. You could have ever such a lot of fun with this. If you've got children or grandchildren in particular, um, you would have so much fun with them. You could cut out a bunch of animals and they could be playing with those as well. So, and obviously older children will be able to stamp and die cut with you. Then in the celebration brochure on page eight, we've got this day at the farm paper, which features all the same images and some of the dies cut out some of the images in the paper. It's really, really fun. So if you uh, have farmers in the family or small people around you, then I think this one is definitely worth a look. Sometimes I think it's easy to overlook uh, sentiment sets in the catalogue because all the other bright and shiny things take your attention. But this set here on page 45, it's called Kind and Sincere, I think is a really nice set. It's absolutely brilliant for making very simple cards, be great for masculine cards as well. And the um, Large scale sentiments here can make a card front on their own. You basically have three large words. You've got kind, thanks and congratulations. And then a lot of kind of qualifiers here or additions that you can add on. So you've got warm, so you can have warm thanks, warm congratulations to you. So congratulations to you. Um, your too. Obviously you can add that to kind. And then various other ones. Thanks for being so We've got R in order, so you can do thanks are in order, kind and generous, and so on and so forth. So I think that's a really nice set with lots of potential. This one here, which is called Sweet Citrus, is perfect for this time of year. Um, you may or may not know, but certainly uh, in Europe, citrus fruits are in season this time of the year. The several oranges will be arriving any moment. Grapefruits, lemons, uh, oranges are all absolutely at their peak. Uh, I was fortunate enough to live down uh, in the Mediterranean for a couple of years, and this time of year, the trees were covered in beautiful fruits. Um, it was a lovely time of year. The detail on the stamps and embossing folder are absolutely fantastic and the embossing folder is a hybrid one which means that when you put your card in you can also put in the dies and with one pass through your machine you can emboss and die cut the actual shapes. You can also die cut in the conventional way without the embossing folder so there's ever such a lot you can do with this really really nice set. Once again, if you have um, adults or um, with, <laughs> with a sense of fun or children around, then the Rain or Shine collection is brilliant. I can also see this being great for male cards, but also just for humorous cards in general. Uh, you've got some little animals here. They're easily adaptable and you may have other stamps in your stash which will work really well with them for instance if you've got these surfboards which we had a little while ago then some of these animals could definitely be surfing they could be doing all kinds of things they've got real kind of attitude to them 
the papers are really pretty and of course we've got dies little tiny floral embellishments and a fun raindrops embossing folder so I think that's a great suite this is my second favorite suite in the catalog on page 58 it's enjoy the journey and I'm going to show you all of this in much more detail in a moment and my January suite sampler gives you a sampling of the papers the embellishments and the twine plus some coordinating card and some die cut pieces so I'll show you that also so if you fancy the look of this and want to give it just a bit of a try then the sweet sampler might be the way to go for you this set here which is quite small and it doesn't kind of stand out but I think again is going to be a really useful one if you make lots of cards for family not only in best family ever do we have happy birthday thanks best ever congratulations you're in my thoughts um, and, and a few kind of extra bits and pieces words like love and that kind of thing but you've also got the names of people who are related you've got wife husband uncle aunt um, daughter son great and you've got grand so you can do granddaughter grandson great granddaughter and so on you've got brother sister baby you have got mom and dad unfortunately we don't have mum in there it would be really oh sorry no, I'm wrong we do have mum <laughs> misread it we do have mum unusually I don't have this can you tell so we've got both the American and the um, British versions of, of you know <laughs> what to call your mother grandma grandpa niece nephew in-law cousin friend then we've got a couple of others you know wonderful and bonus so if you've got someone who's not actually your aunt but who you view as an aunt you might call them your bonus aunt um, I really love that lots of fantastic words to add to your crafting so I think that's a really really nice set best family ever on page 62 you can see there's lots in here that I'm not showing you this set here picturesque page 64 um, I'm just going to tell you is really unusual and very stunning and I'm going to be doing a Facebook live with this um, within you know the next couple of months so watch this space for that post-it notes all over the place now where's my next one page 67 again I don't have these yet they're on my next order but these are small blending brushes I absolutely love the standard blending brushes I use them all the time you're going to see me use one in a minute um, but we now have mini ones as well which have got a smaller brush head on them and they're going to be great for working in smaller areas or giving a little bit more detail we also have a storage for your blending brushes so you can stand um, your brushes in there that will take the large ones or the small ones and it'll hold nine so you can just have them out on your desk ready to go if you've got motorcyclists in the family then this is a great suite uh, we're always looking for things for men's cards obviously women motorcycle as well so uh, if you happen to know some lady motorcyclists this is going to be great for them too we've got stamps we've got dies we've got this fun embossing folder that gives you the um, like a metal plate look and the patterned paper has one side with designs on it and the other side is the specialty side and it's got kind of a black foiled finish to it so all these patterns on here that look as if they're in greys are actually in black foil and grey on the paper so that's really fun that's the ready to ride suite this one is great for little boys and not so little boys um, <laughs> as well as plenty of girls as well I think this is the on the ocean set which is a pirate ship the dies are fun they give you some extra options for sails and waves and flags and so on and of course a skull and crossbones because where would a pirate ship be without skull and crossbones and just on the other side of that I'm trying to take the post-it note off so it's not too distracting for you there we are this is called beside me page 71 um, this is for the men in your life basically 
perfect for Father's Day, but also for grandfathers as well. You've got three different images of men with children and then some really lovely words in there as well. You've always been there for me and you still are. Thank you, Dad. Happy Father's Day. Grateful for you all year long. Beside me all the way. I think they're lovely. And if you like colouring, they will be lovely images to colour in. Teenagers are notoriously difficult to create cards for. I have to admit, I've occasionally given up and bought one. However, this is a great set for teenagers. Most teenagers are interested in music. And this Enjoy the Rhythm stamp set on page 72 um, has got some great images, um, some fun sentiments, and a pun as well, Troublemaker. So uh, my daughter loves a pun. She would enjoy that. Uh, page 74, if you haven't seen it, there is a list here, it's only a partial list, the rest you can find online, of things that were in the um, July to December mini catalogue but are still available. One of them is the Gnome Dies, uh, which you may have spotted in the catalogue, I haven't shown you today, but there are some more Gnome stamps, they've been hugely popular over Christmas. So those are available, the very best trio punch is still available, the aspen tree dies are still available and many more. So if you are interested in that, you can have a look at that, that list and you can also go on to um, stampinup.uk and find the list there. Or go to my website which is sallybowman.stampinup.net. On page 76 onwards, we've got an index for all the bundles that are available. And not only does it show you the die cuts really clearly on here, but more, almost more importantly, the samples you see here are different to the ones on the main page of the catalogue. So if you haven't found the bundle index yet, then do have a little look for it, because I do think it's always nice to get some extra samples. On page 84 we've got what they're calling the catalogue at a glance. So it's an index, but it's a pictorial index. And you've got the stamps and everything else shown here. Um, the stamps are alphabetical, but you've got a little picture of one of the images. So it can be much easier to find that thing that you know you've seen, but you're not sure where it is here. And then it goes through to your dies and embellishments and so on, all alphabetically with little pictures. And then at the back, page 88, we've got just a few of the reasons why you might like to join Stamping Up. I'm going to talk a bit more about that when I show you the celebration brochure. And the very last page of all, page 90, uh, there's a stamp set and a bumper pack of patterned paper, which are available not just if you host a party, but also if you place a large order. Um, I don't think everybody knows. If you place an order for £150, maybe you've got some Christmas money to spend, then you get stamping rewards, which is what we call free products for placing a big order. So were you to place a £150 order, you could choose £15 worth of free products and if you wish, you can put one or both of these items uh, in for your free products. And they are always priced much cheaper than the other things. So, for instance, the stamp set is a £22 stamp set, but you'd only pay £13 from your stamping rewards for it. So your free product value can go even further. So that is the mini catalogue. If you've got questions, do ask them. I'm assuming that you can all hear. Nobody said you can't, and I can see there are people watching. So yes, the mini catalogue. I absolutely love it. There are so many nice things in there. When I first had a look at it, I found that um, quite often I look at a catalogue and things immediately jump out at me. This wasn't one of those catalogues, but what I have done is once I've got the things in my hands, I found that they are just absolutely stunning. There's some really unusual things in here, and I'm going to show you some samples and some projects made with those now. I'm just going to drink some tea if you'll bear with me because my throat is getting very dry. Okay, I'm going to start off with the Enjoy enjoy the Adventure, I think it's called. Let me find my index and I can tell you the right name. Enjoy the Journey, sorry, Enjoy the Journey Suite, which is on pages 58 and 59 in the um, catalogue. 
the papers for this are absolutely stunning I haven't actually got six full sheets to show you because I've used so much of it but I do need to show you how beautiful this paper is let's try and get it all in here we are so there are several sheets like this where you could cut it across the middle and then your design goes top and bottom so this is just beautiful with the moon and the colors are slightly unusual I mean this is quite kind of sunrise or sunset -y, as is this one and whilst they're not a hundred percent realistic they're slightly stylized I do think they are really beautiful I'll show you the kind of the pictorial side first then I'll show you the opposite side this one has clouds and a kind of swirling sky up here this one here has like a mountain scape so here we've got pinks and oranges and here we've got oranges and yellows and then these I've only got half sheets left I'm afraid so basically it's this same design I just showed you but in different colorways we've got purples and greens and turquoises on the sheet and one two three four yeah and this one which is a mountain scape with a little more detail we've got trees in the front and again this comes with that's like the bottom we've got an, an opposite half here so those are the biggest pieces of paper that I had to show you with those but if I show you the sweet sampler you'll you'll see the pattern number six which I haven't got very much left of at all and also the opposite side of some of those and I'll show you the backs too so in the sweet sample you'll get a quarter of a pack of the paper so this is the mountain one I just showed you, you see it's got green mountains and trees one side and then purpley ones on the other then we've seen the mountainscapes which are just beautiful this is the one with the clouds and the swirling sky this is the one with the moon and then this one I didn't have any left to show you except this piece so this is kind of stylized pine trees going up into the background then if I turn these over on the back we've got patterns so this one reminds me almost of batik this is a lovely herringbone with a water it's watercolored let me lift that up a little bit and show you in a little bit more detail hopefully that's there you go so you can actually see the brush strokes on that this one is like a night sky with stars and again let me lift that up so you can see the detail a little bit better the paper is just beautiful then we've got an orangey yellow with triangles on it you've got a hand-drawn herringbone design on pink and then this really nice set of kind of stripes but done in columns I'll tell you the colors in the paper I'm gonna to have to look those up because I haven't got them all by heart let's just find them there we go so we've got melon mambo pumpkin pie coastal cabana garden green starry sky and highland heather and you will also find um, variations on those so I mean there's definitely yellows in this although they haven't put down either mango melody or um, daffodil delight but you can see that that those will work with those as well so yeah so that's the papers there's a triple pack of baker's twine you get half a pack of that in the sampler which is lots as you can see in pumpkin pie coastal cabana and garden green it's a nice thickness of twine great for tying around cards um, for something if you don't want you know something as girly as a ribbon this is is great perfect for tags as well there are these epoxy embellishments now they come in black and white but if you have stamping blends you can color over them to make them any color you like so they're sort of icons I suppose you've got trees arrows a compass and a campfire you lift those up again and give you a little bit more of a close look on those I'm hoping that's going to show there we go so you 
get half a pack of those in the sampler and then I will also die cut you some pieces. I'll show you all the die cuts in a minute but in the sampler you'll get a tent. So the tent comes in two pieces. You've got kind of the base and then you've got the detail. Then you've got a cyclist, a hiker, the moon and a runner. So you can see that actually, let me find a good piece of paper to show you. You can use these to make all kinds of scenes here, like that. As I say, I'll, I'll show you all the the die cuts in a minute. Now I haven't got the stamp set, but I am <laughs> I am going to be getting it um, when I did my early order that I can do because I'm a demonstrator. The stamp set wasn't available, but then it has now come into stock, so. I will be getting one of those. And then you get some coordinating card in your sampler as well. Coastal Cabana, Melon Mambo, Highland Heather. I'll pop you some white in there as well. Starry Sky, Garden Green and Pumpkin Pie. So that will go with all the papers. So your sampler then costs you £13, so you get all those sheets of card, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sheets of card, a quarter of a pack of the patterned paper, half a pack of the embellishments, half a pack of the twine, and a few die cut pieces as well. So there's lots there to get you started with creating, and then if there are things in there that you absolutely love, which I think could definitely be the paper, then you can order whole packs of that afterwards. So £13 if you can collect that from me. If you'd like me to post it to you, I absolutely can. And that will be £15.50. I'll leave that there just for a minute in case anybody wants to screenshot it. And I just need to know that you want that by the 13th. So that's a week today. I'll take orders up until a week today. And I will send it out at the end of January. So that is the Enjoy the Journey Suite Sampler. So I promised to show you all the die cut pieces. So here are the dies. As I say, I haven't got the stamps yet, but I will have them. It's a big die set. This one here I can pick it up, cuts this kind of rocky outcrop shape and of course depending on the angle you put it you can have either a steep slope like I have here or a more gentle slope. Got dies for three different clouds and a moon. The tent I've shown you is a two-piece die so this one has stitched detail on it. I'll try and hopefully be able to show you. And then you have three figures. You've got this vegetation plus a walking pole. Now actually you can just snip off the lantern from the hiker and add the walking pole. Or I guess you could also give two walking poles to your guy here if you see him as hiking rather than running. And there are other open dies which cut out some of the stamps. I was just looking to see if there was a bigger image of the stamps. There isn't. So the stamp set here, you have dies which will cut out your trees and your wildflowers. And then there are additional stamps for vegetation, for starry skies, for the moon or the sun and lots of words. So I think that is, is a really nice set. I love it for mail cards. And if you have Campology or Mountain Air, stamp sets. Both of those will go really well with this. Now I've got some samples to show you. I'm just trying to put these in here so I don't drop them all over the floor. There we are. And then I'm going to just make a quick card as well. Let's put that one out of the way. 
I actually made this card by accident. I was pulling out my pieces of paper and I had three rectangles of paper that just kind of fell together on my table. These two and that one. So they're from actually from two different sheets of paper. And I've just mounted them on some card. I actually used Evening Evergreen rather than Garden Green. Added some of the twine. Ooh, you can't see the bottom, sorry. Hold it, I'm going to have to hold it down a little bit, I think, just to make sure you can see everything. What I'm watching is a mirror image and upside down from what you can see, so that's why I'm finding it slightly difficult to get it in the right place. There we go. So that's my first card, just really made from what happened to be bits and pieces. The second one I'm going to show you actually is a sneak peek of this month's one of the projects from this month's Fancy Fold class. If you are going to this month's Fancy Fold class and you don't want a sneak peek, then look away now and I will tell you when you can look back. I'm just going to try and fiddle with the lighting a little bit. I feel like the lighting's not very bright. Let's try that. So this is oops, a card that stands up, folds flat for posting. I've used some of the paper on the front and then when you open it up we have a 3D scene inside. Let's lift that up and try and show you, hoping you can see that inside. So these papers coordinate so well that you really can mix and match them on a project. Right, and so I'm just going to make really quite a quick card here. I've got the measurements for you here. So my card base is 11 and a half inches by four, scored at five and three quarters of an inch. I have a piece of patterned paper the same size as the card front, so I'm not going to leave a border this time. And then my insert is five and a half by three and three quarters of an inch. So let's just glue that paper on the front first of all. My absolute favorite color combination is pink and orange together, which when I was growing up was a combination I was told you shouldn't use. Don't put pink and orange together, they clash. Well, I don't care. <laughs> I love them. And obviously Stamping Up's designers agree with me because they've put this gorgeous pink and orange together on this paper. So then I've die cut using that long die, a piece of rock. And I've gone with one of the other colors that coordinate with the sweet, just to keep with this kind of sunsetty, slightly pushing pushing the colors a little bit because um, sunsets probably wouldn't make the mountains completely as pink as this but I really like it and then I've popped it through the painted textures embossing folder hoping you can see the texture on that so that is my my piece of rock let's glue that down I have my two-piece tent here. I've cut the tent detail actually from some paper that was further up on the sheet here. So I'm just going to stick those two pieces together. My tent base is cut from Starry Sky card. Now if I'd been sensible I would have put some adhesive sheet on the back of this before I cut it but I was so excited with the design process that I just didn't even think about it. So. Instead, I've got a slightly fiddly glue job, but it'll do the trick. But when you're using them, I suggest you use some of the adhesive sheet. There we go. So that's my tent. Which I'm going to put here. And 
and then I have my figure with a lantern here I love the rucksack there which I'm going to kind of put here looking out at the view and I always think that this is a woman I don't know if it's a woman or a man but I'm thinking of it as a her her lantern um, I just think needs a little bit of light behind it so I've got a snippet of the same paper I've been using here and I'm just going to yeah it's a little bit wide I'm just going to cut a piece that is approximately the same size as the lantern I'm not actually going to cut round the lantern or do anything fiddly with it I just want a teeny tiny rectangle let me hold that so you can see it a bit better there we go it really is very teeny tiny and I'm just going to cut the corners off because that shape will work better with the lantern it's getting darker and darker outside here I think it's going to rain I'm hoping this light is okay for you it's not great Yeah, so I just want a little bit of glue there on the back of the lantern and I'm just sticking sticking that coloured paper behind so it now looks like my lantern let's try and get that closer to you it's got a little glow in it and then my figure is ready to stick on the edge of the rock there and I'm sure she's admiring the sunset there we go and then I have clouds here I think I probably only want two of them I've got an ink blending brush and mango melody ink so I'm just going to I only want a little tiny bit of ink on the brush actually let me take off some of that excess and then I'm just going to brush kind of the base of my cloud just a little bit let's try and show you that it's just to take away some of the whiteness and also kind of bring in this we've got this sort of um, I don't know textured or distressed effect on the well the sun or the moon depending on whether you think it's the sun going down or the moon rising and so I just wanted to echo that a little bit on those cloud pieces glue where I didn't want it on there but never mind I shall let that dry and then take it off with my glue eraser but that is my finished card I just love the colors on that the colors make me very happy indeed okay thank you very much you are most welcome for your catalog and calendar Pam saying the sound is good fantastic thank you I've suddenly had a whole bundle of comments come up Facebook is definitely being very odd this afternoon so that's really helpful to know thank you so much all right then so that is the absolutely fabulous enjoy the journey suite let me show you my second of the two favorite suites in the catalogue which is uh, by the bay so this consists of the seaside bay bundle which is a huge die set and quite a big stamp set as well I'll show you these stamped out and cut out in just a moment there's also some really pretty ribbon which I will try and show you this is an ombre ribbon 
um, and it's a seam binding weight of ribbon. It drapes beautifully, it ties beautifully. It's just gorgeous, really gorgeous. And it's so, so subtle, very pretty. And there are some flat pearls, which sounds a bit strange. These are iridescent pearls, and instead of being round and domed like the pearls we've got used to, these are flat. I don't know if I can show that or not, really. That might, might give you an idea. But they are iridescent, so they've got yellows, oranges, blues, pinks on them, purples. They're very, very pretty. Uh, they're irregular kind of shaped and you get lots of small ones and some big ones in a pack, 80 of them all together. And as you will see in a moment, um, they are beautiful. You can scatter them along a shoreline if you like, or you can use them as kind of the pearls inside a shell. So let's move those out of the way. I'll show you these cut out and stamped. They've really thought about the coordination with these stamps and dies because we have some dies which are independent. They don't have a stamped image they cut out. So you've got a long one which will cut you out a shoreline. We've got some vegetation. We've got this shell here which actually has a double score line across the middle so you can turn it into a 3D shell. I don't know how well you can see that. There's also some embossing on the upper part of the shell. I'll show you a card with this on in a minute. Two large and two small kind of slightly stylized cockle shells. Um, and then dies which cut out all these stamped images. And what I really like about um, the dies is that they've really thought about these. So for instance, there is this little stamp of three wading birds and they're gorgeous stamped. But if you want to cut them out, you have one die which will cut out all three birds at once. That is just so helpful. This little stamped image here of three seashells on a sandy beach, there are at, there's actually one die which will cut out your three seashells here. So again, that's really well thought out. So stamp it like that or cut out the shells or do both. And then other images to cut out, you've got your mussel shell, your murex, I don't know what this is, a little snail shell, the crab, a large version of a wading bird, this beautiful shell, this oyster shell with a pearl in it, and then you've got a separate pearl as well, so you could actually 3D that one on top there. You've got a stamp with sand, and because it's got an irregular image, you can kind of twist and turn it as you stamp it if you want to stamp a larger area, an almost jigsaw puzzle the different images into each other so it doesn't look as if you stamped it multiple times it just looks like one large stamp then really nice sentiments thank you for everything heartfelt sympathy and you are a pearl rare and precious so if that wasn't enough um oh by the way if you get the bundle you'll get a free celebration item so that's fabulous of course but the papers are beautiful So the papers are a speciality paper. They are six inches square and there's 48 sheets in a pack. So you've got 12 different double-sided designs and four of each design. So I hope that's clear. Sometimes it's hard to explain about the paper. And what makes it speciality is some of it has gold foiling and some of it has pearl foiling. And I will tilt this and hope that you can see the light catching it. So this one has pearl foiling. I'll show you the, the fancy side first and then I'll show you the, the plain side. So this one, this is mussels. And again, the mussels have got foiling on the, uh, foiling, well, I don't know what you call it, pearlescent foiling. I'll call it foiling. That may be the wrong word. We've got gold foil there. This one, which has got lots of movement on it and gold foiling. This one I love that school of fish moving around. Then we've got a mixture of shells and crabs and the little birds. This one again with the pearl on it, it's got this wave design. 
this has got well depending on which way you have it horizontal or vertical stripes of the pearl and this beautiful kind of splashing water design this is a blue version of the one we saw in gold and white I got have I got so there's another fish one here I'm wondering if I've duplicated one no I haven't it's the, it's the same but different there we go so there's two versions of the fish um, this one has a Sahara sand background and this one has a ooh, mint macaron I think it is background right I've lost where I've got to now I think it's there wasn't it here's another one of with the gold and this is the same pattern but on Sahara sand with the pearl so the speciality side is beautiful the pages where you have um, images like here you can use your dies to cut them out um, let me find there we go your muscles they will cut out as well and then if I turn the pages over again really beautiful designs this one you can cut out the, sh the shells with the dies the bigger ones you can cut out by hand I love this pattern this is like a kind of an impressionistic watercolor of either a sandbar in the water or if you turn it over more like an island this is a similar style but different again and again it works both ways up depending on whether you've got kind of a, a pale sky or a dark sky this is a muscle print without the pearl again you can use the die to cut out some of the muscles you've got a worn wood look I love this little bird and again your die will cut out this bird it'll cut out the crab some lovely watercolored textured papers visually textured they're not textured to the touch once again more images again you can bring in your dies and cut these out if you want likewise on here and then another blue and green texture so the papers are just beautiful absolutely beautiful let me show you just a couple of things I've done I'll be revisiting this set because it is so lovely and there's so much you can do with it um, this was one of the cards from my class yesterday so I've used um, the die to cut the shell here we cut it from pearlescent paper this time and that's one of those flat backed pearls in there and then this was a project from a team meeting so this is a Z fold card I love this little bird we've got the sand and the shells in the background and some of the patterned paper and then if I open it up I masked part of the stamp so instead of saying thank you for everything it just says thank you and I put several of those little shell images on a block to make it quicker to stamp the background so two fairly quick cards there and there is a lot more to come of that because it's just wonderful right bear with me while I drink some tea yeah it's starting to rain outside I thought it might it's got very dark right so this is the one that I think is probably a Marmite set Queen Bee I've got the bundle because you know stamps and dies that work together are fabulous So let me show you those stamped and cut out so this is another set where some of the dies cut out stamped images and some of them cut out independent pieces and parts so we've got this lovely spray of flowers we've got a large bee and a small bee and both the bees are combined with flowers now I think this is what makes it a bit marmitey I think it's really pretty it's just a little bit different it's not trying to be a realistic bee you know bees don't fly around with flowers on their wings but it's really pretty I think we've got an individual flower stamp a little crown hence the queen bee and then the other stamped images are this one which is some dressed typeface you can just about make out some of the words we've got garden wildflower um, life 
miracles honey gather spring grow and lots of dots another stamp just with dots on it so these little texture stamps are always great some words we've got beloved happy birthday queen and then this nice border here and then the dies that don't actually cut out a stamped image we've got one which will cut out wings for your bee so what you can do is you can stamp your bee die cut your wings I can particularly see these being cut out of vellum that would be really nice and then once you've cut out your bee image here you could snip off the printed wings and add the vellum wings or you could add the vellum wings over the top of those so that you could kind of see through these to the flowers underneath there's another bee here so you've got a solid one and then you've got like a, a lacy one you could mount those two over the top of each other this one I love which is a, like a little piece of delicate honeycomb it's so finely cut and detailed then there are two flowers I can pick this up which have embossing on them I'll try and show you that hoping you can see the detail on that and then we have this spray here now you can cut this in half so you've got two pieces curling different ways you can cut a couple or three of them and make a wreath shape and then you've got this individual one here and these also have some embossing so the central vein on each leaf is embossed on there and then we've got a stitched label and all the words here will fit onto the label so that's the bundle it's lovely I really really like it it's something very different and I'll show you a couple of samples the first thing I thought of when I saw this first of all was a vintage style cards which is something that I do really enjoy and I've made this one here oops bees wings got stuck there we go I'll lift that up and give you a, a closer look I don't know how close I can get it without it coming off camera that's probably about it so I've done a lot of collage stamping on here with repeated images and stamping off so I've used generational stamping I've inked the edges um, I've added some die cut pieces there are some of the die cut leaves here I've added a die cut label and the B I've cut oh I don't think I showed you this is tiny little tiny 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 heart here which fits onto the B there so I've cut one of those and I've added one of the new enamel dots that from the mini catalogue they're really nice they are um, that's what they're called enamel dot essentials so you've got I don't know if they're supposed to be white or vanilla but frankly I think it works for both and you've got crumb cake and you've got knight of navy so really nice these are great for men's cards if they need a little something but you don't want something too sparkly on there these will be just the job um, I've done some stamping on all these dark layers here and a little bit of stamping inside as well so that's my kind of vintage style card and then this one is completely different so I've gone with kind of pretty colors on this I'll lift it up again so that you can see some of the detail so I've stamped the bee three times the ones on the right and the left are just stamped the one in the middle I've actually colored in the flowers with stamping blends and then I've done some more of that collage style stamping on the blue piece behind that cutout bee and then instead of the cutout heart I've just given it a little bit of sparkle there and then inside I've used that border stamp now I'm obviously going to have to make an envelope for this this is a, a custom sized card but I did really like it I think it's something just a little bit different um, and makes the most of how pretty I think this bee is so that is all I have done with the bee so far I have more plans but <laughs> <laughs> that's all I've done so, so tell me if it's is it a Marmite set and if it is what do you think do you like the bee do you not like the bee did you not like it but now you do
and now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about celebration. So celebration is a promotion that has happened every year for as long as I've been a demonstrator. In recent years it's happened twice a year but this year and going forward as far as we far ahead as we know um, it's going to be once a year. So for January and February then celebration promotion is going. There are ways, different ways to earn free products. If you spend £45 on stamping up goodies, then you can choose a free item for the catalogue. If you spend £90 in one go, you can choose either two of the smaller items or one of the larger ones. So I'll quickly just flick through. So the first part of the catalogue is all the items that you can choose from for free when you place a £45 order. So we've got owls, we've got carrots, beautiful paper. I predict this is going to be the best seller and I'll show you some of that in just a minute. I've got some samples to show you. <coughs> Excuse me. And this coordinates with the Dainty Flowers bundle, which is in the Dainty Delight, sorry, it's called bundle in the new mini catalogue. I've shown you the farm paper. There's a stamp set here called Sending Support. So things like Sending Loving Thoughts and Prayers. Uh, Hope Today is one of the easier ones. Uh, here for you always. So anyone you're trying to send some support to basically. The kind of cards we'd never want to have to send, but when you do, it can be helpful to have the right words. I've shown you the favoured flowers paper because that coordinates as well. In the country, this is two beautiful landscape um, images. I'll show you those in a minute on a project. I'll also show you a couple of projects with the beautifully happy stamp set. So this one is a big stamp set. You've got 17 stamps in there and this is available free with a £90 purchase. And the other item free with a £90 purchase is this bumper pack of paper called Dandy Designs. It's pretty pastel colours, balmy blue, calypso coral, fresh freesia, granny apple green, mango melody petal pink. And there are 48 sheets in there. So they're double sided designs. They're 12 inches square and you get four of each of them. So that's going to keep you in paper for ages. And they are really usable patterns. You've got polka dots, you've got subtle stripes, you've got grids, stars, little tiny flowers. So they're going to be great for pretty much any project you can think of um, where you need a little bit of paper or a full layer of paper. They're going to be wonderful. So a bumper pack there for a £90 spend. Two other ways that you can earn free products. If you either host a party or place a large order for £150 or more, then you'll automatically get this Scenic Garden stamp set free. And you will also earn your rewards for either a £45 or a £90 spend. So a £150 order will get you uh, three, yes, three celebration choices. So either three of the £45 items or one of those plus a £90 spend item plus the Scenic Garden set. So lots and lots of free things. And then finally, the best de deal in the catalogue, if your wish list is as long as mine often is, then joining Stamping Up might be the best deal of all for you. Or if you'd like to make a little bit of money from your crafting, um, it doesn't matter whether you join to support your hobby and get a discount or whether you join because you'd like to share crafting with others and make a little bit of money on the side. Either of those reasons are fine. When you join during January or February, you can choose from three options. They're really kind of 1A and 1B and option two, but stamping up have got them in here is, is three. Um, when I sent out your catalogue, the, in the letter I said it didn't look as if the blue version of the mini stamping cut and emboss machine would be available, but it has arrived. So despite all the delays, all of a sudden it got into the warehouse in time, so that it is now available. So when you join Stamping Up, your first option is to pay £125 and choose £170 worth of products and the blue machine. So this is a mini version of the cut and emboss machine. 
it folds up for storage you can see it folded up here and it will cut and it will emboss using the uh, any dies which fit through the channel it's a lovely machine it's absolutely fantastic if you like to craft on the go if you go to friends to craft if you go to crops or classes you can take it with you it's lightweight but sturdy to use um, it's a really nice machine or you can choose exactly the same but have the white machine which is the one that you'll see in the annual catalogue or if you don't want a mini cutting and embossing machine, then you can pay £99 and get £170 worth of stamping up products. It's a crazy deal. It's always the best deal of the year if you join during celebration and quite a lot of my lovely team joined during celebration. Why would you want to join? Well, not only will you get lots of free products when you join, but uh, once you are part of stamping up where you can place your own orders and you will get a 20% discount on every single product you buy so you're always paying a reduced price there are many other benefits as well uh, you'll get to know some new people to craft with both online and in person you'll be invited to exclusive crafting events and all kinds of other things if you join my team I will make you very welcome indeed I have the loveliest demonstrators on my team and it's a really fun thing to do whilst at the same time supporting your hobby. You can have as much of a social life out of it as you want or none at all. You can just carry on crafting at home, but it'll cost you less. And as I said, if you would like to craft with your friends and share stamping up with them, you can earn a little bit of money on the side as well. So for all those reasons, it's fantastic to join stamping up now. If you'd like more information on that, then do drop me an email. Um, or a message and I will be very happy to answer any questions you have I promise you there will be absolutely no hard sell I don't need to do a hard sell <laughs> because it does it itself um, but I'm happy to answer all your questions I'm going to show you some of those free celebration products now I've got one eye on the clock I know we started late but even so so the first thing I'm going to show you are the dainty flowers paper so this is my prediction for the top seller during celebration I don't have the stamps and dies, but you can find them on page 55 of the mini catalogue. And the samples in the Celebration brochure um, do use the stamps and dies, which are beautiful. Dainty is really the right description. They are so finely cut. They're just absolutely beautiful. However, I do have the papers and I'll show them to you because they are gorgeous too. So the free pack of papers is 12 by 12 papers, 12 sheets in a pack two each of six double-sided designs and they are all wild wildflowers and plants which have been watercolored and then turned into paper so this one is all greens this one is really pretty flowers this one is one of those designs where it's kind of mirror imaged but a larger scale. This one is similar to this one, but a smaller scale. So depending on your project, you've got different scales of the designs to use. Um, it's all right. <laughs> I'm just having a look here to see if this is the same as that one. I think it is, yes. One, two, three, four. Right, I've got a part sheet of the next design because I've used so much of it. This one has these beautiful wreaths and it also has some strips on it. And then there's another one that I've completely used in its entirety because I've only got five patterns here to show you. But they are so nice. I've been using loads of them. The backs are gorgeous too. This one I really love. So I'm sorry I haven't got full sheets to show you, but as I say, it's because I've been creating quite a lot with them, but I can show you some samples. So these two cards both use, let's see if I can find the sheet. There we go. So it's this sheet, the one with the large flowers that are then mirror imaged at the top. And I've just cut paper panels, 
glued them down with a contrasting matting layer, a little sentiment, and I've used some of the new dragonfly trinkets on here. These are really lovely. So I've popped two on this card and just one on this card. If I could paint, this is the style I would paint in. I do really love those. And then I did this card with my team, actually. A very simple card. It's just a paper panel. Again, the double over punch and one of the dragonflies. But the paper is so pretty, you don't have to do very much with it. This was one of the cards from yesterday's class using that pretty floral wreath. And I added some of the little brass butterflies on here too. And then finally, this is the same, done with the same paper as this one, so it's this wreath. But this time I've just cut around the outside. Now, if you hate fussy cutting, this will fill you with horror, um, but I actually really like it. I've got a feeling this rhinestone wasn't supposed to be there. I think <laughs> I've got that on there from something else. I think I only put five on there. Anyway, I've used a note card for this. So these are the pack. It's a pack of folded cards and envelopes. So it's a slightly smaller size, but this wreath fits on it absolutely perfectly. And I love the contrast of those cut out edges against the coloured card. So that is the dainty flowers. Let's find something else from Celebration to show you. So this one is the In the Country stamp set. So this is two large stamps. It's lovely like pen and ink sketches one of a set of steps um, with lots of potted plants and an old wall that reminds me of, of France and then one here which is a road curving round with a fence and trees and we used this image in yesterday's class actually to make what's a really simple card I love colouring in and I'm dying to have a chance to actually stamp and colour in this image but what we did yesterday was stamped it and then just brushed over the top of all the lines with a blender pen and because the ink is water soluble the ink runs a little bit and it starts to look more like a watercolour. So if you don't have the time to create a card and colour everything in beautifully this is a really good option instead. And then the last celebration thing I have to show you is this beautifully happy set. Again we did use it yesterday so I'll show you that sample first of all. Now this is a £90 spend item because there are 17 stamps in there. My light's just gone off, that's not very helpful is it? We'll soldier on. <laughs> this is real life here. This is what live crafting's all about isn't it? Um, so there are 17 images in here. It's a two-step stamping set. I'll show you what I mean by that in just a minute. But we have both outline images and solid images and you can use them separately or you can use them together and then there are some really nice words as well for a feeling better kind of day sending happy thoughts and then an add-on to that for a very happy birthday thank you kindness matters and you're easy to love so this is the one we made yesterday I love pink I've told you that already And we did the two-step stamping on this. So we stamped an outline and then we filled it in. So we stamped this outline, then we used these stamps to fill it in. And I'm going to show you a more simple version, just in case you haven't come across two-step stamping before. So I have a note card and envelope here. I've just already stuck on a little piece of paper. This is from the... Um, the new in colours, the in colours for this year from the paper pack for that. And then I've got some bits and pieces here that I'm going to use. 
So this is a completed version. I'm going to do one the same, but in slightly different colors. So again, a quick little card. I love the note cards. If I want to either make a stack of cards or I don't have very long, but I do want to make a card um, because the cutting and scoring of the card is done for me. The only thing you have to watch is the envelopes are quite a close fit. So you don't want to put anything two dimensional on the front. Otherwise, you'll find that it won't fit in the envelope. Um, but something like this with a few layers and a little bit of bling is absolutely fine. All right, so I've got a circle here that I have die cut using the layering circles dies. I'm going to bring in some of those stamps. The first thing I'm going to do is stamp the flower outline design. And I'm just going to reach across and reach my foam mat. For photopolymer stamps, you definitely want to be using a foam mat underneath your work. These are in the catalogue. They're called stamping pierce mats, although you can also use them for stamping, not just for, for piercing. So I've got this little single outline flower here with Starry Sky ink, and I'm just going to stamp that in the middle there. Then the next thing I'm going to do is stamp the words around it. So I have this image which says thank you. Actually, I'm going to pop that mat under my grid paper because then I can stamp off the edge of my circle and I won't get the mat inky. And I'm going to stamp off first because I want Starry Sky, but I don't want it quite as intensely as if it's come straight from the ink pad. So I'm doing these fairly randomly in terms of placement, but I do want to get at least one that where I've got the full thank you on there. And I am keeping them or aiming to keep them straight. So I'm not I'm not kind of moving the words around like that. I want them to be straight. Otherwise, I think it's going to annoy me when I look at them and I'll just see that something's not straight. But really, I'm all I'm doing is creating a background pattern, but using words instead of um, a shape. There we are. So the next thing is where the two step stamping is going to come in. So I'm now going to color in my flower image and I have Orchid Oasis for this which is a paler colour than Starry Sky. So I've got my solid flower stamp. I hope my head's not going to get in your way, but it is quite important to get your head right over what you're stamping here. And then you can look through the stamp, kind of sight the outline, and then stamp the colouring in stamp over the top. I need to let that ink dry a little bit because it will lighten so you can see the outline of the stamped image through that. So I'll carry on and do the others and then I'll pick it up for you in a minute. Then this other little stamp fills in the calyx and the bud. So in exactly the same way, I just look through it at the outline, get it in the right place and then stamp down to fill in the detail. And then this could be the tiniest stamp in the world. <laughs> it's really, really small. This will just, just fill in the center there in daffodil. And then I'm going to pop this on here. I'm not going to use a dimensional foam pad on it because it will be too thick to go in that little envelope if I do. There we are. And actually my alignment hasn't been perfect on that probably because I'm trying to not, <laughs> not completely block you out. So what I'm going to do is, and this is a great tip, find my blender pen, which I know is in here somewhere. There it is. Pick up some ink from my ink pad lid and I just squashed the closed ink pad just to press the ink pad onto here. You don't want to put a blender pen onto your ink pad because what's the fluid that's in here will repel the little kind of 
particles of ink so you'll end up with white spots on your ink pad and it doesn't matter what you do about reinking you won't get that, that coverage back so never never put one of these onto your ink pad either pop a clear block on there and get some ink onto your clear block and use that as a palette or use it from the lid and I'm just going to just gently fill in these little bits here where my my stamping wasn't perfect so if you're ever doing two-step stamping and you've got some little white bits then just do this and fill them in nobody will ever know I won't tell them and then I have some of the little in color embellishments here which I'm just going to pick up just to add a little a little something There we are. So two versions of the same card. And then because I had a scrap of paper left over, I'm actually just going to trim up the envelope as well. So this is my note card envelope that came in the pack. This is my scrap of paper. If you can find this paper in the annual catalog. little bit of glue around the edges and then I'm just going to glue this down onto the envelope flap like that and then with my scissors which I know are here somewhere there they are hidden under a pile of paper if I turn this over I can see where that envelope flap is and I'm just going to trim around it makes a really nice surprise when the recipient turns the envelope over and finds this pretty decorated flap and it's also a great way to use up a kind of little scrappy rectangle of paper there we are so that's my envelope flap that's the one I did for the other card right so there we are that is everything i had to show you this afternoon and if you're still with me well done <laughs> it's been a session hasn't it i'm going to cover you over and just turn you back up so i can say a proper goodbye there we go oh i did press the button but it hasn't registered that's better we don't want me looking like i'm <laughs> on the other side of the world okay so thank you so much for joining me today apologies again if you were there promptly at two o'clock the technology was not working in my favor today but we got there in the end i hope that you are really enjoying everything that is new in the catalog i hope you're going to be able to earn yourself some freebies during celebration if you're just thinking about joining Stamping Up and have questions or want to know a bit more, do please get in touch with me because I'd love to tell you. Um, I don't think there's anything better than getting money off your crafting. Who wouldn't want to do that? And you can get so many extra free products when you join Stamping Up during celebration that I think it's well worth doing. What I didn't say was there is no, you don't sign up for any minimum period or anything like that. You just stay a demonstrator for as long as you would want to be. And Stamping Up call everybody who joins demonstrator. You don't have to demonstrate straight okay if you'd like to I'll support you to do that uh, but you absolutely do not have to you can join for your hobby if you would like so celebration mini catalogue more of it coming soon I haven't quite decided what I'm going to show you next week but I will be here next Friday at two o'clock hopefully without the technical difficulties and I look forward very much to seeing you then so thanks so much for joining me have a lovely weekend I hope the weather improves and I will see you again soon bye bye